hopefully the deal goes through and I will be able to get one of my dream bikes. Hey guys, how are you doing? So uh, in one of the previous episodes I've uh, mentioned that the Black Hardy 50 is for sale because I've uh, got a hint on one of my dream bikes. Well, today is that day. Uh, we're going into Holland and we are going to have a look at the bike. I uh, hope it's not going to be a uh, complete lemon and uh, I hope we can make something work. So uh, I'm not going to spoil it just yet, but uh, in a little bit you might see what I got or what I didn't get. Hopefully everything, everything works out. So yeah, the Black Hardy 50 is gone and uh, it uh, had to make some space for potentially the new bike. So without further ado, see you in a bit. I'm going to have a look and uh, fingers crossed. So we've uh, just departed from our first stop, which I forgot to mention in the first clip. Is uh, I've just picked up my uh, birthday gift from my girlfriend. She got me a an old Flandria tandem bicycle. So a two-seater for two people, which is pretty cool. Hope we can uh, make some bicycle trips this summer. So yeah, we've just picked that up. Next stop, hopefully, to the dream bike. See you in a bit. We got it. Yes, I can't wait to get back home and unload this thing. It's absolutely stunning. I'm so happy. I still have uh, two hours worth of driving and it's uh, raining like crazy. So uh, I'll take it steady and uh, see you in a bit. So here it is, my dream bike. No, just kidding. Here it is. So this is my newly acquired 1997 Honda Dream. So uh, when I was talking about my dream bike, I wasn't lying. It's an actual dream, a real Honda one, not a reproduced SkyTeam replica. It's uh, number 1637 out of 3500 made. A little bit of engine specs. This is a 50cc dual overhead cam with a six-speed gearbox to it. The double exhaust, which looks absolutely beautiful. This thing looks so nice. Dual overhead cam, so cool. I am so happy that I've been able to get this. I feel like a child in a candy store. 8,000 kilometers, which is pretty good. It even has uh, some Japanese fuel in it. The only thing that's not original are the mirrors, but I actually kind of like these. These are a bit more stealthy. This one is loose, needs to be fixed. Should be no big deal. So yeah, it's pretty clean. It needs a bit of cleanup. Here and there, there are some uh, some marks and some blemishes, but uh, it's 1997, so can't expect a, a new bike for that. Still has a an old Japanese sticker from, I don't know, maybe a shop in Japan. I don't think these were delivered in Europe, actually. I'm not sure. It runs a bit rough right now, but uh, it's been sitting for a while and it has been on a shipping container for two months. So it'll definitely need a carburetor clean, maybe new spark plug and everything. Uh, that will be for another episode. So let's, uh, let's fire this thing up so you can hear it. choke okay no choke oh yeah so the carb definitely needs cleaning she purrs like a kitten
<laughs> but no choke if you get on the throttle it tries to stall so carb definitely needs cleaning yeah carb needs good clean get a fresh uh, spark plug maybe check ignition I'll also do some fresh oil because I have no history on this thing which is fine so yeah I just love the fact that this is a 50cc dual overhead cam disc brakes at the front and the back the double exhaust and the overall design is just absolutely stunning god I am so in love with this thing so yeah if you like this bike make sure to, to subscribe because uh, this will be in a couple of other episodes I will be making some clips of uh, maintenance and uh, I'm going to try and give it a good polish and a, a seal and a wax just for protecting it for the weather so this thing will definitely be a part of the channel so make sure to subscribe if you want to see more of this cool bike so yeah thank you very much for watching see you in the next one